I think that as a coming from the background of, of, of media and media information, it uh, comes home to me very clearly every day that there is a universe of information that's available to today's students. It's just right there at the stroke of a keypad. Now, whether it means anything to them or if they know what to do with it or how to evaluate it is another question. Because the truth about information is that information alone is thin. It's our application of that information. It's our expression of that information. It's our synthesis of that information. And taking all of that um, and putting it together in a unique and creative way that shows demonstration of our mastery and understanding that makes information valuable. As we, uh, as I work with teachers around the nation, and I'm very fortunate to be able to do that. I, I do see two very distinct groups of teachers. I see that these teachers who are excellent managers, who know their discipline very well, who can differentiate instruction for students, um, but may not have strong technology skills. And then I see this other group, these young teachers who absolutely understand at technology you know they know if it bips bleeps or talks to them they know what to do with it and um, but they don't know how to integrate that in a meaningful way to really power up learning you know using it as like I said as a tool and not as a toy and so I think that these two groups have a lot to to learn from each other and by creating communities uh, within our school or uh, through chat rooms and I know it may sound a little trendy to say it but uh, Twitter is a great way to get a quick answer and to bring disparate groups together um, because you can post a question out there and get lots of responses from different learners and lots of um, aspects uh, and opinions on a particular situation uh, then we can begin to, to bridge that gap and, and work together to be stronger partners in education uh, on behalf of our children and about, on behalf of our students. Today's students are an upcoming generation of meaning makers. When we look at today's literacy, we can see that it's a tremendous amalgam of text and icons and um, symbols um, in any format and combination. They live in a world where the thought's the thing. I think chat room talk is a great, uh, is a great example of that. Texting is a wonderful example of that. Um, so they are um, very invested in getting ideas across um, and they will use a range of formats in order to do that. It's their world. That's the way that they receive information and that's the way that they prefer to send information out. So I think that we need to be very mindful that our children are living in a multiliterate world. And when we address learning and address communication for our students, I think that we need to be open to the idea that visual literacy, um, traditional literacy, technological literacy, and informational literacy work in tandem in their world. And to create learning scenarios to teach them how to use that correctly. I mean, we wouldn't dream of um, expecting a child to read without instruction. And other forms of literacy are exactly that same, uh, come under that same umbrella. We've got to teach them how to develop these literacies. And it, it comes from us, from a very concerted and scaffolded instruction in a very um, mindful and meaningful way of guiding our children, our students, from uh, the introduction to proficiency and finally to fluency. That, that's our goal for them.